let's use you, Ian, as an example. Um, when you decided to buy a house, how long did it take you to actually buy said house? I mean, probably, you know, it was three to four months of discussing financing lender. Are we ready? Paperwork, tax returns and all that. And then <clears throat> once we started looking and it was weeks, months. Yeah. So it went from an idea that turned into a maybe that turned into let's do it that turned into oh man i actually got to turn stuff in to okay now we're engaged and let's go full force right but yeah. if i had met you at the beginning of that conversation when you jumped onto a lead source and looked at a house or asked a question you would have been like eh, i'm just kind of looking kind of feeling it out you probably would have missed out on an appointment you probably wouldn't have showed up and then at the end, you were 100% engaged. And if I had left you alone back then, when I called you back in six months, you would purchase the house, right? And I would have been pissed off at myself because I didn't stay in touch. How many times do we call a lead and they bought a house or they went and did something that would have uh, you know, gotten to the next stage and we missed that because we were afraid of it? Um, you know, uh, I was sitting in training the last, uh, last week, week before last, and a conversation was brought up that says the one people that we should be communicating with are the people that we feel don't need to be communicated with, right? Um, when a person says, call me in six months, call them in one month. If a person says, call me in two weeks, call them in a week, like trim it down to half, or if it's really long time, trim it down to one fifth, one sixth, whatever it might be, but never give a person the time frame that they want, because that's not the real time frame. The real time frame is Stop bothering me today. I'm not ready.